Hey there, medical coders, it's Laquita here. Today we're applying for eight medical coding roles. The best part about this video is three of them in a possible requires no experience. The remaining positions vary in experience, spanning from a minimum of six months to a maximum of two years. Let's dive right into the video and explore these incredible opportunities. All right, you guys, we're jumping head first into a role that requires no experience. The company name is Piedmont. Title of the role is e m Coder. We're going to jump right down and look at the experience requirement. It says none. In the certification section, CPC, CPCA, and I know we have a lot of CPCAs watching, you qualify for this role. It says required, none but it says preferred. So they're saying, look, if you don't have any experience, go ahead and apply. But we do prefer someone with experience to apply. It also says remote coding experience is a plus. So I'm not sure why it states that because it says that the location is in Atlanta, Georgia. So this position could possibly be a remote position. So still apply for this role. If you are not in the Atlanta, Georgia area, just in case this is a remote position. So you will be dealing with ICD-10 and CPT and HixPix coding. It states here that you will audit orders and claims before submission for accuracy and to minimize claim denials. It also states that you will provide technical guidance to physicians and other departmental staff in identifying and resolving issues and errors. Let's take a pause real quick for the newbie medical coders. This line item right here is basically saying that you will have to query the provider. There will be some things that the physician is not knowing that they need to document in order for a condition to be able to be coded. That's where you come in. The physician may document something like, patient has an ulcer and that's it and don't state anything else. Me as a medical coding expert, I'm going to look and see what medication is linked to the ulcer. What kind of ulcer could this patient possibly have. In the case that this patient has diabetes, I'm thinking this could possibly be a non-pressure ulcer. A non-pressure ulcer is an HCC. I do risk adjustment coding. So I'm going to query the provider asking for more information, asking for the clinician to be more specific. What kind of ulcer does this patient have? I'm going to also ask, could he or she be specific to the body part? Where is the ulcer located? because we want to code to the highest specificity. If the clinician come back and state that the patient has a diabetic ulcer, then I will be able to pick up that diabetic ulcer code. I'm sorry if that took too long, you guys, but I just wanted to explain it for the newbies. Okay, let's go to the next, next position. We're going over three positions with Scott County Hospital. Let's take a look at the first position with Scott County Hospital. It is a HEM coder position. You must be certified. And let's go down a little bit more. It says that the hospital inpatient outpatient coder reviews clinical documentation and diagnostic results as appropriate to extract data and apply appropriate codes for billing, internal and external reporting, research, and regulatory compliance. It says that you will be dealing with ICD-10 here. When you go down further here, it says that you will also be dealing with CPT and HixPix. So you will be using all three of those code sets to do your daily job. For the experience, it's asking for two years of direct coding experience and completion of a certified coding program, specifically RHIT, CPC, CCS, or CCA. And they're even also saying that you can have a COCH through the AAPC. I didn't see any verbiage saying that it was remote or hybrid. I see that the hospital is located in Kansas. Now let's go to the second row for Scott County Hospital. The title for this position is a clinical coder. You will be dealing with the same exact code says as the last position that we just went over. And this verbiage seems to be quite similar to what we just read previously. You will be doing some inpatient and outpatient coding here. As you can see, they're asking for two years of direct coding experience. Now this line item, I don't quite understand because they're saying that they want you to pass the AHIMA certification for for a CCA or a CCS within 18 months of hire. I'm assuming that they want you to do this even if you have a CPC. If you are contacted back about this position, you'll be able to ask those specific questions if you're someone like me with no type of AHIMA certifications. Okay, y'all, let's go to the third and the best position that Scott County Hospital has. The title is a HEM coder and look what it says, y'all. 
This is a special one. It says not certified. The third and last one that we're going to go over with Scott County Hospital. See, I could have showed you all this one first, but I wanted you all to see the prior two first, seeing how they're asking for you to have all this experience. And then boom, they have a role that says you do not have to be certified. Why do you think they did that, you guys? They are giving an opportunity to someone who is new to the industry because some of y'all are just set on the idea that there are no opportunities out here. They're out here. You have to search for them. They're kind of hard. And then there are a lot of CPCAs out here, y'all. Don't y'all know how many people probably have already applied for this role? So do not wait to apply for this position. The position may be gone. Apply for it as soon as you can. So let's read deeper into the role. You will be dealing with the same code sets that we just reviewed. We're not even going to read this because y'all already probably hitting the skip button anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm trying to show y'all that this is real. Let's see what they're asking for. Completion of a coding program. Y'all see, they're not asking for any type of certification. No CPC, CCA verbiage here. So for those of you who are not certified yet, but you completed a coding program, you can go ahead and apply for this position. Those of you who have already scheduled to take your exam and all of that, look at this, y'all. Look at this opportunity. You can go ahead and apply for this position. It didn't say anything about being remote or hybrid. We just know that it's located in Kansas, like the prior two positions. Still apply. I would apply. Let them tell you no. But we don't want to leave anything on the surface because what if it's remote? Is it going to hurt for you just to apply just in case? Let them tell you it's not remote. All right, you guys, we are on to the next position with Methodist Health System. The role is a coder. This is a remote position. And after training on site, which will be three weeks, but the training is at the Dallas location. So after that, the position will be remote. For the certification requirements, they want you to have a CPCA, CPC, CCA, or CCSP. The experience range from a minimum of six months to 18 months in code assignment, any specialty. They would like for you to have some experience in some type of medical record software, but they would like for you to have epic experience. They prefer that. So here it shows that you will be reviewing documentation for accurate code assignment of CPT, HixPix, and ICD-10-CM. They would like for you to have basic knowledge of e &M. Let's scroll down further. So here, this was interesting to me. You must maintain 90% or higher in coding accuracy. Usually you see something that says that you must have 95% accuracy. They're only asking for 90. That's very interesting. The lowest I've seen is 92. So this right here beats that. And it says also maintains department required production, but they did not list the exact number here of how many charts per day that you will be coding. So let's go ahead and go to the next position. Okay, this company here name is Trinity Health and the title is a coding specialist. It says that it's located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I did not see any verbiage saying that it's remote or hybrid. You will be working from eight to five, Monday through Friday. And it speaks about the benefits that you will be able to qualify for. And they also have tuition reimbursement here. It states here that you will be dealing with ICD-10 and CPT for patient billing process, responsible for educating colleagues and providers and accurately document services performed and using the appropriate codes representing those services. It states here that you will be responsible for coding and or validation of charges for more complex service lines, advanced proficiencies in surgical or specialty coding practice. And as for the qualifications, they want you to have a CPC certification from the AAPC. Let's go ahead and move on to the second to the last position that we will be covering today. We're almost done, you guys. The company name is Brunson and the title is a professional coder. And this right here is the possible that I was speaking about because this position did not state any type of experience requirement. I looked all the way through this role, you guys. I searched and searched and searched for it and it did not say anything about the experience that they wanted the candidate to have. So if you have little to no experience in coding, I will be all over this position. So down here, it states that you will be doing some CPT and ICD coding here. They want you to have 12 to eight months of coding experience. It didn't state if it was remote or not. A lot of times I will come across a position and it will state that it's on site or it will state that it's remote and it doesn't state any of those things. So look, guys, if you want to work remotely, I will still apply for this. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get on to the last one we're going over today. And it's right here with Tide Lens Health. So the title is a medical coder slash coding specialist one. This one is remote. And here it shows the code sets 
basically the codes that you will be assigning here. It's all listed here. Let's look at the position, responsibilities, and functions. It says enter charges for procedures that are not soft coded or instructed for certain patient types. Let's look at the experience level. They could have just said one year experience, but instead they stated up to one year of experience. Look at the certifications that they want you to have. We have a CPCA here. We know that a CPCA is an apprentice, someone with little to no coding experience at all. CCA, new to the industry. They picked this verbiage for a reason. They're wanting to give someone a chance who has no experience. So if you have no experience, you need to be all over this one and applying as soon as you possibly can. And it's remote, 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 remote. Wonderful, wonderful opportunity. And there you have it, you guys. Stay tuned for more job search tips, career insights, and success stories. Your dream job might be just an application away. Until next time, keep coding, keep applying, and keep chasing those career goals. Good luck on your journey, and I'll catch you in the next video.